real quick. This little thing, I thought I lost the um, this piece here. I didn't toss this out, but I didn't know that until a day after I got this separate piece. And when I found it, I decided oh, I'm just gonna keep it. But it wasn't expensive; it's was like twenty, twenty-five dollars for the extra piece. But now I know I did not toss. It. Okay, so I want to talk about uh, my dedication to everything that I do. Uh, about five years ago, and we just was a month into my this job that I'm currently at, working at right now, that I realized whatever I'm am involved in. Once I learn the basics, I take whatever it is and I mold it into my own and my creativity into it, and then I go all in. And um, and for great examples that I realize that's the type of person that I am is um, my club photography. I retired a couple times from nightclub photography, and that is because I tend to get overwhelmed and I get burnt out uh, within about two years. And I've heard multiple times from my mentor and my friend that you're burnt out, you're burnt out, that's what it is. Just take a break, you'll be fine. I'm like, no, 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 I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And I remember I always felt, I always went through this and I didn't understand why. And I, I saw a post that had this like lines around it and it's, it's basically starts from the top, I'm bored. And then it, the, 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 the arrow would points down to, you know, looking for something to do, creating a project. And then the following arrow would point to, oh, you get overwhelmed. And then the, you know, the next arrow goes through, you're burnt out. And, and it's just a, a complete cycle. And I'm always pointing this. And I think it's going to be a forever cycle for me because I put myself so much into it, you know. I return to club photography. I need kind of need the money, so how about if you know I'm available for to to cover anybody a couple times a month, you know, one or two gigs. It's like cool, cool, and then more and more times, you know, I get I start accepting more and more gigs. Oh, can you cover me for this night, cat? Cat, how about another night? Blah blah. blah. And I would go in the head and say yes to everything. I just could not say no. One, I didn't want to disappoint people. Two, I did not want i want people to be able to rely on me but obviously i really want i should take the time off not that i want to i should and i and that becomes like a whole thing i end up working a couple times a month it became like every weekend and then it became like a couple times a weekend to you know three times a weekend and then it became like more projects and well now that i'm doing this why don't we do this because i see a little you know, discrepancy here and there, the website doesn't look right, the pictures aren't uploading correctly, you know, my images aren't improving. So I started to throw more things on top of my my already should not be overwhelming pile. And then on top of that, I would accept other things on the side, you know, creating flyers for friends and, you know, and I start getting overwhelmed and, you know, my I would drop some balls and, and, and then it blows up in my face. And then I retire again. And um, yes, this is s what some people uh, would feel like this is a weakness, uh, and it can be, it, it's not necessary, like why are you bringing yourself out? However, there are people that I actually work alongside that are able to take on multiple tasks and be able to build from that, and in, over time, they become successful with it, with that. Uh, you know, work work ethic. Uh, you, you just grind hard until you get where you want to be. And though I get burnt out over like the eight years that I was in club photography, you know, uh, I was driving home and I was thinking, if I met, and I still have time, but if I ever meet the right people um, at the right time with the same mental uh, uh, drive, the, the, the work ethic drive, with that type of collaboration and having one set of goal and going straight there and focus on there, I know that 
both parties will become successful in some sort of manner. You know what I mean? And it's just a matter of like finding the right people at the right time. And for some, you, for some people will get to that point. Um, but then for others, they can spend the rest of their lives working hard and connecting with the wrong people, um, not having the same work ethics, not having the same goals, and not having the focus to get where they want to be and don't have a timeline for it. You know, those are the people who tend to kind of just work hard for the rest of their life. And um, unfortunately, there are a lot more people like that, and they're, they're just stuck in a bound. So it's a matter of really exposing yourself, um, cast a water net, and, and almost like analyze and take chances. If you really believe in something, really go for it. Take that chance, take that risk, and just take that leap of faith. And um, my quality is definitely something that I have to be careful with because I do get burned out and I do, you know, explode from it. And but I I don't want to miss that opportunity when that is laying in front of me. You know, you give me something and I say yes to it. You can bet your butt I I I'll do not only do what you ask or do what your mindset is to it, but I go above and beyond. And that's, that's just an ordinary quality. And that is something I have to constantly remind myself of. Kathy, you're, you're really good at this. Don't, don't lose it. Don't lose it, no matter what. Your moment will come. Don't give up. Meet the right people. You know, make the right connections. Just don't give up. Alright? Uh, I should head back and take off my makeup because I'm really tired.